Lovely birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Airport CEO. So we actually researched some stuff that I've yet to use, and I would love to use them right now. Let's see, we have ourselves, aha, uh -huh, right over here, the bag scanners. Oh, there are five different variations. Okay, so I guess I'm not, <laughs> I guess I'm not using this one in this room, huh? We do have this one, though, that detects mostly everything, but it's not as good as the other one, but that's fine with me. So, how do I want to place these things? I wish I could have done it there just so it would work with uh, this whole situation here, but we don't exactly have any room over on this side, then, for our bag destroyer, which is of utmost importance. That's how we're going to get rid of all the evidence. I guess, really, that's a bad idea, but hey, you know what? We're going to do it anyway. So, maybe instead we could probably do something like... No, that seems wrong. That just seems straight up wrong. All right, we're going to just reroute all these things, and hopefully it's going to work out well for us. So let's go ahead and put that there. Bag destroyer goes right up over there, and now we actually have to remove some of these things because we have to reroute them somewhere over here. So let's see. Demolition on these, I suppose. And, yeah, I think that's about it. Wait, did I really need that one gone? Hmm... Yeah, I actually have to because I have to put it this way. All right, so hopefully we can get those gone right now and we can then rebuild what it is that we need to rebuild. So where are my little contractors who actually have to do this job? Are they actually coming? Did we get a delivery just yet? Oh, we still have some stuff here. What? What is this stuff? Of course I can't click on it to tell. All right, fine, whatever. Oh, why are we already working on this? Nice, nice. Um, let's see. So what are items? Baggage belts. Aha, so we don't really have a, a working baggage system currently, so we have to change that up. So let's make sure that we have the underground. Underground. The underground. There we go. And we're going to bring this over to, I believe it's going to be right here, but I do want to just make this one like that, and this one goes up. There we go. Huh? And can we build those, please? There we go. So we should be... I like that. I like how it flows. It looks nice. Although this looks a little bit weird, but I think it still works anyway, so whatever. All right, so here we go. There, we're leading right up through here, and now this is going to go turn like this, and now that should be connected all the way through. So this should work. Of course, we don't really... We're not currently accepting any baggage, so that kind of sucks. But we, wait, when's our next flight? Um, oh, wow, that late. I guess we already accepted, I, I guess, yeah, it's a little bit, uh, oh, goodbye. It's a little bit late compared to what's uh, usually normal for us. So let's see, flight planner, when do we not have flights? We are currently on Friday, so we're, we just accept that one. What is going on here? Activates, um, why are these all gray? Not sure. We do need some more flights for this, and I mean, we we could open up our next stand right over here. Let's just uh, plop it open for commercial. Um. Oh, the, the, are the boarding desks not attached? Seriously? All right. There we go. There's one and there's two. So now I can go ahead and make this commercial. There we go. Connect the baggage bay as is usual. It's right up over here. Set the pushback point. I think I already did that though, didn't I? So I just wanted to push back just that far and security. The sand is deactivated. All right. So we're going to have to open it up and set up. We're good. All right. So... Hmm, what other things do we have available to us in our, let's see, procurement? Because I've not actually looked at that in a, well, in a while. So let's see, we have our, are you looking for more data? Not so much. Travel document scanner allows operators to review passenger travel documents in real time and use an advanced uh, induction technology to scan the contents of bags and, hmm, maybe, maybe yeah, you know what, we, we do have the money. It's going to cost us, though, per hour, but that's okay, we've been making more than enough money, so I am not, I have no issue with that whatsoever. Uh, baggage scanning station, what is this? I mean, it's super expensive, so I'm not going to get it just yet. Alright, it seems like we have mostly everything that we need, so I'm okay with this. I read somewhere that our C I C O O actually handles maybe the, the fixing up of our uh, stands and our runways. But I haven't seen anything like that yet, so I mean, I don't know if it's going to happen. Alright, so there we go. We have our travel document scanner. I'm going to assume that it's automatically in place. Let's see. Um, has been purchased. Has it procured? If you experience... Okay, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea where it is because I've not actually used this thing before. So I apologize if I never actually find it. Alright, so what do we have here? We have our... Yeah, you know, I don't think we actually have to get anything. Although we could always get an info desk. That would be quite nice. Because, uh, well... Ah, oh, come on. The flights are already running late again. 
Uh, but yeah, info desk because people could always use more information, huh? All right, so what can we do next? We do have some more room for this. But I don't think I'm going to go for that just yet. And yeah, I don't really see anything else that we actually purchased here. So I guess we're stuck with what we have. Yeah, you guys can... Oh! Oh, 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 we're getting baggage. Oh, I flipped it. <laughs> I got so excited that I flipped it. All right, so let's see if anybody has anything that's bad that this can actually detect. Because if it does, then we'll see it just floop over here and then get crushed to nothing. Oh, we got uh, some bags actually marked for... Uh-oh. Really? They're probably marked and we kind of ignored them. Uh, well, let's let this go faster and see if we can actually find any bad baggage. Seems like this thing kind of sucks, though, so we're not exactly finding anything useful. Which kind of sucks, because I really would like to see some baggage getting crushed, but, uh, I guess all those people were safe. Um, oh, nice job, the janitor. I would say, hmm, maybe we need another janitor, because there's nobody coming through here, but nah, I think we're good. Alright, so how are these contracts going, or did they run out? Let's see, business habit. Oh, we don't have a contract, so that, uh, <laughs> that makes some kind of sense. Well, that is completely empty, so let's go ahead and get Crane's Burgers up in, Crane's Burgers up in here, there we go. I guess we're going to need to sign another contract for this one as well, there we go. Oh, it's over here. I was like, where did it go? <laughs> and I signed a contract for that one there, even though it seems like maybe people don't like to use these things. But hey, you know what? If they're hungry, they're going to buy something. All right, and over here, how are we doing? We have a lot of sales. That's not enough, though. We still have three days, though. And this one, we are not even close, even though I feel like maybe more people do shop there than other places around the airport. But whatever. They want to do whatever they want to do. Okay, so going back over here, I think I want to place another... What the heck is happening over here? Oh, no! <laughs> this poor guy, he got stuck there. All right, I'm going to remove this wall just because we don't exactly need it there. Right, so I think we're going to place another gate somewhere over here, but of course we have to work with this one first, which, I mean, it's open and everything like that, but we're not exactly using it just yet. So, what are we going to do about that? Well, we are going to grab more contracts. Hey, Maple, welcome back, friends. We're going to sign you on and make sure that we have more than enough flights. I guess we can probably even grab Naz just in case. There we go. So, Flight Planner, now we have another... Why is this one first? Well, might as well just start adding flights over here then, because clearly we have that open for us. So, let's do maybe the same thing. It seems like we're still able to land even with this situation going on here. So, that works for me. And let's just add the rest of the flights here. I really wish there was a way to uh, renew everything automatically, or just, like, set it to renew automatically, because uh, filling in the schedules, like, all the time seems very impractical in my opinion but hey maybe that's just me i don't know if that's just me but that's just the way i feel about it at least all right so let's go ahead and fill up this whole thing with some maple flights and oh this is uh well this is different i forgot about air strata and that i gave them basically this whole day all to themselves so, i'm sorry but maple's gonna come in here and be like hey what's going on i have some flights too all right there we go so um hmm, i guess we could probably do the same thing here Let's just drop that there and drop the right over here. And now we actually go to Nas and actually fill the rest of this with some Nas flights. There we go. All right, so we should have a fairly full schedule happening here. What? No available check-in desks found? Excuse me? Okay, apparently we need some more check-in desks. I don't know why it allowed me to do it that uh, for the other days, but that's... Uh, <laughs> That's looking a little bit rough. Yeah, no, okay. Check uh, check baggage reconnections. Oh, I can put it over here. That's only going to give us two flights, though, so that does not make me happy. I'm going to put some more over here. Maybe we can work with this, and I'll just do the whole chicken desk thing later on. So let's see, 1125, 1120, 1800. There we go. All right, so now we have our flights going for us. I am going to add some more chicken desks because it seems like we need it. And now is a good time to actually start putting stuff on the other side of our airport, because, of course, we're not yet using that. Uh, are you kidding me again? Okay, we need some more chicken desk right now so we can actually get this whole thing working. I mean, we do still have some more days to fill out the, our whole bag thing, our whole flight schedule there. Right? I call it bag thing, my gosh. Our whole flight schedule still has time to be filled up, so that's fine. All right, so let's put these, like, right next to each other, because that's what we did before. So we're going to go for one, two, three, and four. I did make this whole area just for these guys, so we can put in some more. But I do not want to overload security, okay? That's going to be an issue. However, we are going to make our new security area over here, and I might make it a little bit bigger just in case. Or, actually, no, I kind of like the size of this area, so... Yeah, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could make this bigger. All right, so what are we going to have to do? Let's see. This is going to be... I need actually to grab... Um, can I see the, the side with it? Okay, good. 32. 32, 32. All right, so 32, I'm going to bulldoze. 
What the heck did I just place down? I placed down something, so I'm going to have to go find it. Right, 32. What number am I on right now? 23, 32. There we go. All right, so that's as big as our security area is going to be. Did I actually accidentally demolish something or place a random security area somewhere over here? No, it seems like I didn't. All right, that's fine with me. Who boy, so we have a lot of stuff to build. What's going on over here? An employee can't reach his work position. Oh, boy, not again. Where are you? Oh, it's always the ramp agents. It's always the ramp agents. Like, they have this area here where they can go chill, but they just always get stuck there. Whatever. A passenger can't board. What is wrong with the passenger? Is there, uh, nothing? Oh. I think they're just complaining because they're not being called just yet. That might be the case here. Oh, boy. Some people. And let's see. An item is broken. It looks like it's fixed, so I think we're good there. All right. Over here we have weather. I get receipts. Good, good, good. Products arrived. Okay. Well, we're fine here. So far, so good, at least I should say. And we should have some more check-in desks. Lovely. Oh, we do. Is this whole area set for staffing? I think it is. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm going to just do this. What? Oh, oh, I put these the wrong way, you guys. I apologize. I know. Big mistake. It happens, okay? Let's mark these for demolition, and next time I'll remember that goes the opposite way around. Oh, boy. Well, it only happens every once in a while, so you know what? It's okay. We can deal with this. We have more than enough money, so it's not a big problem. So we do have this cleared out. Yes, let's get that running. So we do want to go ahead and place our security checkpoint. So let me just do something like uh, this. One, two, three, and four. Ta-da! We have more security. However, we don't yet have the chicken desk, but that's okay. I'm going to fix this right now. Chicken desk. Right. So, yes, love the delay. We're going to, of course, keep it, but, of course, we have to do... This. Ah! Uh huh. I realized what I did wrong. I flipped it the wrong way because I thought that the green arrow has to point this way. That's what keeps confusing me, like, all the time. But no, I got it now, you guys. I got it. Alright, so staff zone. I'm gonna need a staff zone up in here. It looks like it's already covered in. Good. Alright, everybody build these in so we can actually add our cues. Although we don't, probably don't need cues, but I want to make sure that we have enough stuff here. And let's see. Employees. How many... Airport staff members do we have? So we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I'll hire one more just to keep it even because that's bothering me. Uh, sure, you're hired. And let's delay that flight because I'm pretty sure we should not have anything coming in right now. Yeah, we're good. We're totally good. Oh boy, okay, so the only problem with this now is that we have to connect it to the baggage belt, of course. So let's go ahead and do that, I suppose. Let's see, our baggage belts, there we go. Okay, so we're going to do this over the ground just because we can actually stand to see this. And let's just drag this all the way through. Okay, I, I was worried it wouldn't connect, but it did. Nice, all right. Something like that, like that, and we are good to go. All right, so that's not that bad. This one's going to have to do a little bit of a different turn, though. Because it's not really in the middle. But that's not an issue. I think we could do that. And I really hope it works. Because I'm not so sure again. Alright, there we go. So we are definitely working on a bigger capacity airport pretty soon. Now that we have this, well, ready and set for grabbing some flights. And I'm thinking that I want to move our gate seating down a little bit. Because as I saw people waiting here, they were just kind of like spilling along the sides of the gate seating. And I did not like that at all. But that's a consideration for another time. And oh boy. Who are you? The franchise staff. Yeah, I guess it happens sometimes. It's okay, though, because there's nobody at the airport right now. We have so many of these, I think we're good. All right, so now it's just a matter of building queues and making sure that everything's working just in time for our brand new gate to accept flights. Everything is working as it should, it seems. So we can probably go to our flight planner over here and make sure that we have flights while the rest of our flights that we've been holding off on scheduled properly. Let's see, maybe this day could use a few more flights, huh? Yes, now we can put them there, thank goodness. And it seems like we have a very delayed flight. I'm gonna say yes. I think that at this point we can probably go ahead and buy some more cars that we're gonna need because we now have an extra gate, right? Because it seems like we have a lot of delays, so that might be the case. And also, yeah, that's exactly it, actually. And also some more ramp agents because, of course, the ones that we have right now are probably very busy. So let's go to applicants and ramp agents here. I don't actually, how many do I have right now currently? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, okay, I have only have ten. That's not good. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. Eh, da, 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 da. Give me a better applicant, please. Um, 15. I don't know if that's going to work. I feel like I should have one more. 
16. There we go. So four per gate. And I think hopefully that's going to be worthwhile. <laughs> I don't know. All anyway, right. So let's try that. And we're going to go to procurement and make sure that we get another. Oh, boy. I should have asked for two. There we go. Two more and then one more of these guys. That should hopefully be good. All right. So let's go ahead and just save these emails, even though I really don't need to anymore. But whatever. And hopefully now we will stop dealing with so many delays because... Those are definitely not needed. All right, yeah, you can stay. You can be delayed a little bit. That's okay. I understand that it's going to happen. I'm thinking at this point we should probably get another baggage bay strictly because it seems like um, maybe there's too much going on in this one. However, I did not really make enough room for it, so I'm going to have to delete some of this road and actually expand on that. But for now, it seems like we're okay. If I add another gate, though, I am going to make sure that we do that. And yeah, you guys are still... Wait, what? You can't board. You're all the way over here. What? Are you on crack? Are you saying you can't board the bus? I don't know. Let's see. A ramp agent stuck. Oh, my gosh. Look at this, you guys. I am not surprised at all. Uh, an item's broken. Yeah, we'll get that fixed. The service technician's always on that really, really quickly. And here we go. We have some more baggage here. Hmm. I'm going to assume... Oh. We don't have any, <laughs> any flights over here. Well, it looks like it's probably a good time to start repairing some of these, huh? Since these are actually kind of very expensive to fix and we can actually afford that right now. Same thing with this guy over here. Let's just fix that right now. Same thing with this one. Fix this one right there. Oh my gosh, that one was very bad. But now we are good. All right, so that works for me. Um, everything else seems to be working quite nicely. We don't, have, we don't really have seating over here, but I'm sure people can go and sit on these ones over here and make sure that basically all the seating is actually being used once and for all. All right, so in terms of more security exits, we could probably use some over here. I'm going to be honest with that me, with myself right now. Reason being that we will eventually add another gate here. However, I want to wait until I actually add that other gate to add that security exit. So for now, people are going to have to walk all the way from here to all the way over here. And I mean, that's whatever. So let's maybe ex do the extension, though, before we add that gate. So we're going to need to go one, two, three, and four. We're going to do the extension all the way from here to here. And, well, I sincerely hope that we can find a place for these things over here in my corner here. Because I need some of that room there for maybe another gate or two. We'll see. We'll see. Because I, I really do intend on adding... Let's see. Our, uh, gate stands call them whatever. I really do intend on adding another one. I think I'm going to do one right over here. And as you can see, we can fit exactly one more here. But this one is just never going to happen. Because, of course... This stuff in the way. So I think I'm just going to do some on the corners here and then leave that area just blank for whatever. We can even extend the building if we need to and add, I don't know, whatever else people need here. I will, yeah, I'll go ahead. I will actually add some more sidewalk here, though, just in case. So let's see some sidewalk all the way over here. And if we ever want to, we can extend the building. I realize now that we actually still have all our contractors that I did not let them go. So, whoops. My bad. <laughs> My bad, you guys. And, I mean, we can't afford all these stands right now. Huh. Huh. Well, that's a thing. That's a thought for sure. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add our, let's see, what's it called? Our service roads. And we're going to do it two to the side of this building here. So we're, oh, right here. Okay, works for me. We're going to have to go all the way up to here and make sure that we do this all the way here. So I'm going to do this just because I intend on actually removing this one and then putting the gate right there. And, I mean, is it is it time right now for another gate? We seem to have more than enough room, so, I mean, why not, right? And let's save that there. And I will eventually get to our general aviation. Don't worry, I'm going to get there. I just want to make sure that we, uh, well, grab every airline contract that I currently can. And I still have some room for some stuff here, of course. But I'm pretty sure that we're going to need one more gate to finish that off. And, you know, we can always separate flights a little bit more if we have a few extra gates. That way we won't have to deal with so many delays. Oh, we only have one more airline contract. Interesting. I think, yeah, we're going to go for just one single last gate. And then on the sides, we can probably go for the general aviation. How does that sound, huh? And why is that not opening? There we go. So signing Stripe Air, lovely. Let's go ahead and actually try to finish up this schedule. I believe, yes, here is where we are. I really hope we don't need anything else for these guys. It seems like we're good. All right, nice. So we're going to go for, let's see, 11.25 as well here. And same thing over here. So right now we basically have every single airline that we can, which feels weird. <laughs> it feels weird, okay? It feels just very, very bizarre that we're actually able to service this many people. 
That sounds very inappropriate, but whatever. All right, so 505 over here, 505 over here. It seems like we can fit most of these. I'm going to make sure that we try to fit them earlier in the day, because if we go later in the day, guess what? We're going to be hit with fees if they leave a little bit too late, and I am not very fond of that. It seems like we have the exact amount of flights here, though. So we're going to have to go later in the day. Fine. Fine. You know, we could always move it up a little bit, but I'm not too concerned with that because... Sometimes we um, have issues, and we could get another one there, especially since this is cleared up. However, if we look at our contracts, there is absolutely nothing else. We can use, you know, we can go for some building contracts or some field contracts, but we are basically all out of uh, airline contracts at this point. So it is what it is. We have to deal with what we have. So let's see, how much money do we have? We have plenty of money that we can probably go for something else that we don't already have here, right? Um, how much money is it that we have there? I guess we could probably check our budget. We currently are making... Oh my gosh, that's a lot of money per hour. Can I check uh, how much we're making? Ha <laughs> ha! Huh. Wow! Okay, yeah, we're doing actually very excellently. And we have quite a lot of money on us right now. So, procurement. I could go for some of these things that might help us out. But am I really going to use that? Like, let's be honest with ourselves here. Is that really going to be use? Use at some point. Maybe not. So I'm going to go unlock this because we are eventually going to go for the general aviation. And I guess we could go for the baggage scanning station because we can afford it now, even though it's sucked out all the rest of our money. Lovely! Well, I guess that's fine with <laughs> me. It happens sometimes. And we're just going to earn all that money back. So, I mean, it really doesn't matter now, does it? Oh, boy. All right. So we have had so many things. Wait, there we go. That's exactly what I was talking about. Passenger can't claim their baggage. Where are you? Because you're trying to take the bus. Is that what it is? Oh, man. Sometimes these idiots, I swear. And it's broken. That's fine. You are... Yeah, you're straight up just trying to get to your bus. Just go back inside and get your bag. Seriously, what is wrong with you people? Sometimes I really have to wonder about these guys. It seems like they might be a little bit derpier than one might uh, hope for. Right, so... Uh, one more gate, you guys. One more gate. Of course, I did just spend the rest of the money for that, so... <laughs> We're going to be waiting a little bit longer for that. However, I think we can actually go ahead and bulldoze this because we no longer need it. So right from here to over... Ooh. Burning to bulldoze this as well. But for now, just that one should do. And we'll have the money for the uh, stand gate. Oh, man. What do I call it? What do you, want, what do you guys want me to call it? Because I can call it both of them. It doesn't matter to me. But uh, one way or another, we're going to get that guy coming in here soon because it seems like we're definitely getting more than enough money. And we're about to make a little bit more money because people are about to start flooding out of these plants. There we go. So, yeah, gate is or stand gate, whatever, is coming in pretty soon, it seems. All right, so despite that I actually spent money on building this, we now have enough money for our gate. So let's go ahead and start removing this because, well, uh, <laughs> as soon as other flights land, we are kind of screwed. And I did just see some land, so... Let's do this quickly before anything else bad happens here. And we're going to need ourselves our medium stand over here. And I suppose it's still... Yes, it's out of concrete. Even though I don't like concrete, it's a cheaper... Wait, is it, is it a cheaper... They both cost the same thing. Why did I not change this first? Oh, whatever. It's going to stay out of concrete for now until I decide to change things. Just because of this the color here. I guess that's fine. And we should be losing a ton of money pretty soon. Pastor... Oh, not again. Hmm, we might be having problems with our baggage because it seems like people are trying to leave without theirs and then they're complaining to us. A bag cannot enter the conveyor belt. Oh, there was something actually destroyed right there. Hmm. Please ensure that there is a... Okay, I'm going to make sure that there is a bag for this. is stuck. Really? Is it this bag right here? <laughs> is it that bag right there? Because that would be interesting. All right, so we know that there is some bags kind of sort of stuck in here. Let's take a look at our baggage belt here. Alright, what do we have going on over here? No, I'm pretty sure it's functional. I'm like 5,000% sure it's functional. We could change this one because it looks like it's actually trying to run into each other and that seems a little bit awkward. So I will actually get rid of this one and fix it up in just a second. Let's see, we're going to do it just like this. So hopefully that works and it won't cause any more problems because it seems like maybe we're having some problems. But hey, I actually like that we were able to see that once and for all the baggage was crushed. Out. Although we only really caught sight of this the very end of it, but that's okay. All right, so fixed, good. Let's go ahead and place it there, and now everything. What? Game, you're a joke, man. You are a massive joke. All right, so now we actually have to clear this one out as well and fix it all up. I put it facing up, but it just did not allow that. Whatever. Like, we know that the bag still works. I just want to make sure that the whole. Oh, I should say the baggage belt still works. I just want to make sure that the whole thing is actually super functional. But it seems like. Um, the game decided that I wanted to do otherwise. Please f face it upwards. There we go. That's what I like to see there. Uh-huh. 
Just like that. And are they actually going to do that? Oh, it's, it's facing upwards now. Perfect. All right, so hopefully that works. And, I mean, that's going to be kind of nice. Okay, what's going on over here? Did we run out of a contract? It seems like we did. That's okay. We can sign on. Not you guys. Not you guys. I think it's going to be one of the little, little guys. Like one of the one-stop ones. So quick stop or Turner. Hmm. Rent per hour is 76. Rent per hour 90. Oh, I guess like we know which one we're going with. It's going to be quick stop. Yes, please give me the money. All right, how are you guys doing? Not excellently, but they're both... Oh, they split the sales. Oh, so if we only had one of those guys, we would have made we would have made almost a contract there. Oh, well, it is what it is. And over here, we are not even close. All right, so what's happening here? Passenger can't clean their baggage. That's because, again, they're leaving, and they decided to just skip it. And this baggage is still apparently stuck somewhere. Not on a wrap, apparently. Person can't find a reachable security point. Who? That's, again, because they're leaving on the bus. Oh, my gosh. Ah. <sighs> This way, enter through this door if you still need to go into our airport. Come on, people. How hard? <laughs> Seriously, how hard is it? Anyway, it looks like we have our receipts for the Avgas and the baggage scanning station. All right, so what else do we have left in our procurement that we have yet to procure? <laughs> I know that was bad. All right, so we can procure this. It's still very, very costly. This one's not as costly, so I'm going to go for that one right now. That one's actually very, very expensive. Conveyor belt tilt tray, not really interested in that. And yeah, we've mostly unlocked everything except for the really expensive stuff. So fair enough. Yeah, you know what? That's because they're trying to get through there through the wrong way. All right, so... We have ourselves our scan station. So this one seems to be three, level three. So what does it say here? Used for manually scanning particularly suspicious contents. Requires at least one security staff to function. Hmm. Oh, look at this. I like this. Okay, so we're going to use this one for sure, for sure. In addition to this, this one here, this actually very pathetic one. <laughs> I know, I know. It shouldn't be that pathetic, but it is. How do I want to do this, though? Like, uh, I wish I could put it here, but it seems like we have... Oh, wait, that's not this. That's something completely different. So, what we can do is we can actually clear this one out, since it's dead time right now, and try to actually put this guy right up in there. If it works, it works. If not, well, I tried. All right, so, people, please. Oh, there we go. There is some baggage actually get, getting thrown away. That's a lot of baggage getting thrown away. And now our baggage system is basically broken again. That's okay. We, we got this, you guys. We got this. So we're going to put that there, put the baggage destroyer right up in there. And now what we have to do is actually fix the baggage belts again. These two, however, will connect. So over here, we need to just bring this underground. Underground belt, please and thank you. All right, turn that around, and it's going to be dumped right up in there. And the rest of this, however, has to go. All right, there we go. Demolish all of that, and I know it's going to take a while for these bags. Uh oh they're all stuck there. People are going to be like, oh my god, where's my baggage? Yeah, you know what, you guys, it's okay. Trust me, we're trying to make this a much more secure flight for all of you people. So if you can't appreciate that, then I don't know what to tell you. And as for our janitors, I'm going to assume that we should probably hire two more just because it seems like the two that we have uh, could be doing a much better job. I know we're out of money, don't worry. I'm, I'm not worried about that at all, actually. But, uh, yeah, let's see. A bag is stuck again. Well, maybe that's because the bag had some illicit items that people weren't actually supposed to have. Hmm, huh, how about that? All right, and is this actually connected all the way through? It looks like it is, and we are now working here so we can get rid of all sorts of dangerous things. Oh, yeah, you guys. Although, now we have to have a security guy there, but it seems like he's okay with this. He's okay with that life. We did hire extra, two extra, I believe, just to try to take care of that stuff if I ever built it. And, hey, we built it. All right, why is this uh, contract not completed? I, I opened that. Ah, oh, there we go. I was like, hmm, something's fishy about this store. I know we got to work in. All right, so everything seems to be working just fine, except for the money portion where we're kind of, you know, <laughs> a little bit too broke, but that's okay. And what do we have over here? Receipt for travel document scanner. Ooh, so what does that look like? Is that something over here that we can actually find and use? Or is that automatically installed here? Or is that actually an upgrade for this. No, it seems like it's not an upgrade. God dang it. I'm always trying to find more things to do so <laughs> so we can actually make this airport uh, a little bit fancier, but it seems like there's just never anything else to add. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. All right, so we have to and, uh, oh, we can, well, we can work with this guy, but I don't really want to work with this guy right now. Let's just, uh, let's see. Yes, we're good there. We want to set the pushback point right to here. There we go. We want to try to accept commercial flights, but of course we need some money before we can do that so we can actually buy our baggage belts. And it seems like, once again, we have a stuck contractor. So let's go ahead and remove this over here. 
Uh huh. And we are going to maybe build a wall there sooner than later. Or actually, we don't even have to do that right now. This can just be an area, okay? So this should be fine. All right, so there we go. Why are people... Oh, I was like, why are people all flooding over here? Calm down, everybody. We're good. All right, so we're going to need ourselves our boarding desks. And again, I think I did this one in the... Right here. All right, so that works for me. This is not a secure area, unfortunately, so we have to make it secure first. Fair enough. I mean, we did just build this whole thing, so I mean, that makes sense. There we go. It's all secure, and now we can actually go for our item here. Our boarding desk. So, let's align these again. There we go, and drop that one right there. Drop a second one right here in the corner, and oh boy, I, I love it when things end up in the corners, and I really don't. But that's okay. Alright, so infrastructure. No, it's actually structures. We're going to go for the medium door here just in case. And the small door on this side instead because we don't actually we still have some room there. So sure, small door on that side as is usual. Although again, we're not currently going to use this, but whatever. Alright, what? A, uh, more broken items. That's okay. We have service technicians that can take care of all that. And we're still making money, which is great. So, this gate is going to be used for flights that are basically extra that we don't really have anywhere to go with them. Especially since it seems like sometimes we're a little bit delayed, so we can try to save money by uh, buying less trucks and using more gates. That's one way to do it, but of course, that seems like the impractical way because <laughs> fixing gates is actually ridiculously expensive now. <sighs> thanks, game, thanks. But I mean, that's one way of doing it, and let's see, we could always just use it for now and wait until we maybe get some more contracts available to ourselves right let's repair these guys right over here because we can always use well those working pretty nicely now i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna get another one however how much is it <laughs> a hundred thousand <laughs> okay well the reason why i'm gonna get another one though is because i do want to add our general aviation flights and we are going to need another runway once we actually start adding this stuff because it's going to be way too many flights on just two runways yeah i don't think that's going to work out well for us so one last runway and i do want to put it over here before but since we don't exactly have the room there i guess we're going to wait until we have the money so we can actually place it towards the back here i'm going to assume that judging by the flashing lights i did not actually center this properly but that's okay that's okay not the end of the world. They can always be moved if we actually have the money, but currently we don't have the money, so we're kind of stuck. Especially since I need to build the PAPI PAP light, PAP lights. My gosh, why can't I pronounce that for now? I usually am good with pronouncing it, but now I'm just like burr, 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 lights. So there we go. We're we can get the money now. There, we're good now. So let's go ahead and place this guy somewhere over here, so we can actually see. Well, so the planes can see where they're landing, and we're good. So we can open this runway. However, I want it strictly for general aviation and nothing more. This gate's gonna stay closed for the time being until we have some good use for it because currently we are still out of airline contracts. I mean, oh, wait, 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 hold on. We ran out of airline contracts, apparently. Well, let's sign them three back again and hopefully we can actually start accommodating them onto our flight schedule once more. Let's see, what is our flight schedule looking like right now? So we have it currently filled up until Friday. So Saturday, yeah, I guess we're all cleared up of those flights, huh? Well, except for that maple flight there, but that's, uh, oh, these maple flights, I should say. Oh, and that one. All right, there's a few random ones there, but that's okay. So, let's see. Who's going to take this over? Seems like we have maybe one of each of these guys. All right, so Skylink right over here, just because I want it like this, and go back. Swiftly, swiftly, one right over here, and that should be it. All right, so back to Friday, or excuse me, Saturday and Sunday. So we can just, like, give them their own, their own stands again. However, now that we have this extra gate, should we do it like this? That's the thing that I'm going back and forth about because, of course, we have very many options now. So we can do this at 505. Let's see. We can do this one over here at 505 as well and maybe one more here. And, of course, if we ever get that other stand open, we can do that as well. I'm going to leave it be for now, though, because that's not the most important thing at the time. Or for the time being, I should say. The most important thing is how much... how expensive is this so this is 20,000 bucks however if we build the concrete one it's gonna be 60,000 <laughs> so we're gonna need a little bit more money uh oh if I can ever reach a concrete one well the reason why I want the concrete one is because as you can see everything else over here is concrete so what the heck why not except for the, the taxiways that's asphalt but eventually I will upgrade to asphalt just now is not the time so what we can do is probably just place these guys along the way here and it seems like I might be able to get two on this side and what I can actually do instead is probably put them more out here instead of just directly on theirs. That way I can actually get more of these. 
So that's definitely a thought. That's definitely something I'm considering doing. Especially since I still feel bad that I messed this up. And I, what I want to do also is I want to connect the taxiways more to the runways over here. So make different connections. Like maybe make a taxiway straight through. That way we can have just planes waiting in different areas. Just in case. You know, you never quite know. So we'll leave this one closed for now. Because of course we're not using it currently. And more broken items. That is okay. More weather changes. That's also fine. I mean, we're here in summer. So we shouldn't be seeing too much bad weather. And oh my gosh, the money... The money, the money. Oh, it's all about the money, you guys. I feel so greedy all of a sudden. But, I mean, we've been getting so much money. I mean, what does it say again? Oh, what's getting hot here? Hmm. And passengers are happy. The airport, not so good. The airlines aren't, very, aren't really that happy with us for some reason. Even though we've been doing a pretty good job. Except there have been a few delays, but it's not that bad overall. Right, so um, let's see. Was it operations that I went to look at? No. It was our budget. Yes. Yearly budget. Huh? When did this happen? <laughs> when did that happen? So apparently we're losing money somehow. I didn't realize this was a thing. Uh oh, I was like so celebrating the fact that we were making so much money before and now we're losing money. Well, lovely. Maybe we need to get something more going. So that's why we are actually going to be going for our small stands. But that'll happen in the next episode, because that is it for this episode of Airport CEO. If you enjoyed, hit that like button to show your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.